Shikatagani, pronounced e a e n k t a e a n i, is a Japanese language phrase meaning it cannot be helped or nothing can be done about it. Shagani, pronounced e a e a n i, is an alternative. Cultural associations. The phrase has been used by many Western writers to describe the ability of the Japanese people to maintain dignity in the face of an unavoidable tragedy or injustice. Particularly when the circumstances are beyond their control. Historically, it has been applied to situations in which masses of Japanese people as a whole have been made to endure, including the Allied occupation of Japan and the internment of Japanese Americans and Japanese Canadians. Thus, when Emperor Shawa was asked, in his first ever press conference given in Tokyo in 1975, what he thought of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, he answered, it's very regrettable that nuclear bombs were dropped and I feel sorry for the citizens of Hiroshima but it couldn't be helped because that happened in wartime. In Asian American Women, the Frontiers Reader, author Debbie Stores states, The Japanese phrase shikatagani, or it can't be helped, indicates cultural norms over which one has little control. This notion of suffering in part stems from shikatagani, Failing to follow cultural norms and social conventions led to a life of little choice but endurance of suffering. The phrase also can have negative connotations, as some may perceive the lack of reaction to adversity as complacence, both to social and political forces. In a Business Week article, a Western businessman says of Japanese people, he encourages Japanese not to succumb to the shikatagani mentality but to get angry and start behaving like citizens. Japanese people listen to me because I'm always pushing what the possibilities are and how things can change. To ensure positive economic and political prospects. Literary references, the phrase appears as important theme in a range of books relating to major events in the history of the Japanese people. Jan Wakatsuki Houston's Farewell to Manzana devoted a chapter to the concept to explain why the Japanese Americans interned in the U.S. during World War II did not put up more of a struggle against the restrictive conditions and policies put upon them. The historical manga Barefoot Gen shows many of the citizens in Hiroshima using the phrase shikatagani to explain why they accept the military rule and the acceptance of the below poverty conditions that cause many of their citizens to starve. Similarly, John Hersey's Hiroshima applies the phrase after efforts to assist fatally injured Hibikusha ceased. The phrase is also introduced or explained by Japanese or Japanese-American characters in books such as the Mars Trilogy by Kim Stanley Robinson, James Cleville's Shah Gun and David Gutterson's Snow Falling on Cedars. In the book The Hostile Beaches by Gordon D. Sheriffs, the character Lieutenant Carney says the phrase. When asked what it means, he says it means let's get to work, not knowing its actual meaning. Later, Bob Dunbar says the words to confuse searching Japanese soldiers. The Japan commentator Willard Price often made reference to the term in his dealings with the Japanese in the 1930s and 1940s. Kim Stanley Robinson also includes the phrase in his book Red Mars. The phrase is spoken by Hiroko early on in the Mars colonization. It was Hiroko who cut Arcady off, with what she said was a Japanese commonplace, shikatagani, meaning there is no choice. PT8, the final chapter of the book, is also called shikatagani. Other references, the phrase has been adopted by the metasploid framework to name an encoder that implements polymorphic XO or additive feedback. The name is appropriate since the polymorphic encoding means there is no hope of antivirus products detecting malicious code encoded using this method. Shogunize a track on King Crimson's 2002 mini album Happy with What You Have to Be Happy With. References Further reading, Shikatagani. Time Magazine. October 8, 1945. Archived from the original on March 10, 2007. Retrieved November 3, 2014.